In agriculture, water is a limited commodity in the West, and a lot of it's irrigated agriculture. My specialty is in uh, using remote sensing for estimating plant water use and stress, productivity, and yield. In order to improve water use efficiency, because of the demand on water keeps increasing and aspects of climate change may influence future water availability, we're developing techniques using satellite technology as well as UAV technology to improve estimating actual plant water use so that growers and the industry can improve their irrigation scheduling and strategy and conserve water when they can. I work for ENJ Gallo Wineries as a research scientist and I take care of applying new technologies and science to irrigation management. ARS, they are doing all the science load of the GrapeX project using evapotranspiration models based on remote sensing data to calculate how much water our vines using. Gallo is the industry partner. is a good combination to have the science running in real commercial vineyards. The final objective is to be able to provide the vines with the right amount of water for whatever production objective you have, but also saving as much water as possible. What we've been able to do is adapt our models to work better in these unique canopy situations in vineyards, and ultimately has allowed us to make what we call the ET toolkit applicable to a wide range of vineyard varieties and under different climate conditions. I'm a scientist with USDA, I'm a plant physiologist, and we're installing a flux tower to measure how much water is coming off of these crop surfaces for comparison with remote sensing applications. We had GrapeX for many years where we did this in vineyards and now we're starting to do it in tree crops in California. So starting in almonds and then eventually expanding to other woody perennial tree crops. ARS has really supported basic as well as applied research. They realize that the type of research we do takes a significant amount of time to develop and mature. And so that investment of time and resources leads to what we have now is a ET toolkit that took a number of years to develop but now can be applied and provide real information and technology to water management of agriculture and provide water savings and ultimately benefit society.